Welcome to another JKI video tutorial. In this video we will take a look at how the JKI state machine can be used in an existing project to refactor old code. In specific, we took the three button dialog VI that ships with the base version of LabVIEW and refactored it using the JKI state machine. This entire process took about 90 minutes. We have not added or changed any functionality in the original VI and we have not changed the way the functionality is implemented. To get started, let's open up the existing three button dialog that it ships with LabVIEW. If we open up the functions palette and go to the programming, dialog and user interface, we will find the three button dialog VI. Let's drop it down and look at the diagram. We will see that it calls another sub VI. That's the one we want. If we look at the diagram of this VI, we'll see that it consists of several inputs. It also has a lot of user interface manipulation which is included in several frames of a flat sequence structure. Looking at the input controls, we can see that their data is passed to several frames of the sequence structure. This is a hint that these inputs need to be captured as variables in our state machine. We also see decisions made within one frame, such as here, and results passed to other frames. These are also good candidates of using variables in the JKI state machine. Now let's open up the JKI state machine a refactored version of this code. Our main approach to refactoring was to take the code inside each frame of the sequence structure and place it into a state frame of the JKI state machine. In our state machine we've used the built-in UI category to logically group the functionality of the old code. We've also assigned descriptive names to each state frame. In some cases, there is a one-to-one -one match between the frames of the sequence structure and the states of the state machine. In other cases, we've broken the work down into separate states to make it easier to read and manage. Let's compare the two. For example, this code here called UI set initial sizes is actually this code up here. And the bottom portion of this frame is actually a separate state in our state machine, which we call UI Determine Button Visibility, located over here. If we go back to the old code, we'll see that this second frame, located here, is placed in our state machine in the frame we call UI initialize strings. Now let's take a look at how we manage our variables. Our variables are initialized in the data initialize frame of our state machine. We've included all the old input controls shown here, but in addition to this we've added other variables which did not exist before. These are here to support passing data between state machine frames. Let's take a closer look at the visibility variables. Notice how they are initialized over here. They are updated over here. And they are read from the other states over here. Let's change gears now and look at button handling. If you look at the old code, you will notice a small while loop with an event structure. This type of handling is built into the JKI state machine. All we did was create event frames for each button shown here for the left, center, and right button. If we look at one of the event frames in more detail, we see that a variable is used to hold the value of the button pressed. This in turn is passed out as an output. Finally, let's look at how all this code is executed. If you look at the old code, we see that the execution order is locked into the sequence structure. In the refactored version, the execution order is determined by the order of the strings in the macro initialized state. If we need to change the order, it's easy to do so. In this implementation, the string sequence is pulled out of the macro initialized state. Normally, this would be located inside the state. This is a personal preference, and it's the way I like to use the JKI state machine. 
This concludes our tutorial. For additional tutorials and examples, please visit jkisoft.com slash statemachine. If you want to download this code, click on the examples link. Thank you.